I gave up on idol worship. I was born to a Muslim Bangladeshi father and a Hindu Indian mother. At the age of 17, my life fell apart. The love of my life left me. I was born to a Muslim Bangladeshi father and a Hindu Indian mother. I felt the power of dua. I felt the void since I was 12 and I gave up on idol worship. Today, a lot of people compare my story with the story of Ibrahim because his father used to make idols but he chose Islam even though his father was different. My state is also same. I gave up on idol worship, search for myself where eventually I saw my father pray and he was at peace. I saw him getting protected all the time by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After that, I decided to read namaz at the age of 14. I learned on my own to read namaz. Today I read namaz all five times and I have been doing this for almost five years. I felt sukoon after every namaz, every time I could connect with my beloved creator. At the age of 17, my life fell apart. The love of my life left me. I had family issues where daily my parents would fight. A lot of problems. You can say I was tested a lot. I kept my faith intact and slowly things became fine. Then after a few months on Eid, I apologized to my love and he came back after that. But as the time has passed, because in today's world there are a lot of issues where people start drifting because of small issues, we drifted and I asked him so much to stay. I wanted to make it halal and get done with my nikah, but I feel that he will take a lot more time. My dad was ready for the nikah, but at the end it's up to my love to decide as well. You can say that today I wait for him to come back in my life and make it halal. I want to be with him, make duas together and go to Hajj inshallah someday. I just know the power of dua, trust me I do. Time and time again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have accepted my dua and I know it. I also know he is the one who can bring him back. So I wait and that's how I learned the value of sabr. It's beautiful and in the end when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards, say, mashallah. I just know that no one understands except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's beautiful. Every day I talk to him and that is priceless. The power of dua is a lot and soon inshallah either in this dunya we shall reunite or I pray Allah to show us the path to Jannah and inshallah we shall reunite there. Brighter side is we are firm believers of Islam so I know that his faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seen as mine. So inshallah I will reunite with my love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and grant us Jannah. I have tried everything, trust me, from istikhara to know whether I'm doing is right or wrong, to ya wadudu, everything. I just know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows things that I can't express in words and He will heal me and bring Him back someday. Till then, I give in my life, my everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will do anything to make Him happy, not because I get something in return, because He loved me when I was nothing and broken. He has loved me at every point of time since my very birth, never gave up on me and lifted me. I just have pure love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I want to follow the steps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every non-Muslim should know the power of dua. Since my birth, I felt it. I felt it brought peace and sukoon. When I was broken, I wanted to die, give up, go away from here because the dunya broke me. I was cheated and backstabbed by my own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the one to hear all my cries and heal me. That's when I decided to completely heal. I have to fully surrender to him and read my shahada. I felt that all the bad thoughts inside me left and there wasn't a sign of shaitan. I felt iman in me. I felt so peaceful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me with a lot of blessings. I felt the courage to drive. I financially stabilized and I work part-time. My dream to go to Germany and settle there is happening. I was rewarded a lot. At the same time, I was disciplined. I read my namaz every time. I am dedicated to this forever. Even when I am tested, I know I am most loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I just know I am most loved by Him and I have felt His love. Never underestimate the power of dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift you up when no one decides to even look at you. And at the end, it's just your connection with Him. So deen over oh, dunya. Oh,
خير العميم مثالا وأراقب 